evening this morning. It all happened just after 7 in a wooded area behind Manchester Street Park. The shootings are renewing safety concerns in that area, which has become a growing homeless encampment. NBC 10's Bianca Beltran joins us live from Lawrence with what the city is doing to help those unhoused residents. Bianca? Well, we'll give you a sense of where this happened. Just beyond this playground, down this trail, behind those trees, that is where police and investigators had to climb into to conduct their investigation. Now, police have released few details about what happened, so we don't know if the people involved in that shooting live in that encampment, but it is raising concerns about safety for a growing number of people that are living on the streets. Hidden among the tree line overlooking the Spigot River are a number of tents that became the focus of a shooting investigation Thursday morning. As detectives work to determine what led to the crime, the city's leader says they need help getting people off the streets. Okay, Lourdes. Sencillamente se ha convertido. Mayor Brian Peña says many people go to Lawrence seeking services. Que Lawrence ya no tiene la capacidad. But the city does not have the capacity to provide the resources that are needed. His spokesperson said they're calling on their neighbors to help come up with a plan. We don't need more shelters. We need solutions. We need a roundtable conversation with community around Lawrence, uh, Haverhill, North Andover, and over Draycott, Methuen, so we all find a final solution for helping each other on this situation. Lawrence's homeless service coordinator said the city has identified 150 to 200 homeless individuals and over 300 homeless families, many losing housing due to increasing rents. She said the wait list for housing vouchers could mean years before someone can access affordable housing. At the end of the day, it is a person. They need help. Michael Gorman organizes weekly free community dinners in Lawrence and says more and more people are showing up. We need to get these individuals help, treatment. Maybe it's even trying to get them housing first and then try to work on the substance use or the mental health problem. But we have to be creative in trying to see like how can we fix this before it continues to decline as a city. And the city's homeless services coordinator tells me that those conversations are underway this week. She said she met with a representative of HUD, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, as well as state leaders and representatives from neighboring communities coming together to start those conversations about how they can collaborate on this issue. She says they plan to meet at least once a month to come up with a plan together. Reporting in Lawrence, I'm Bianca Beltran, NBC10 Boston.